Hey, we're back. This is Jonathan Katz, the guy who likes to say, Hey, we're back. I don't get it either. I know the economy is in trouble, tanking. I'm not panicked yet, but I do remember a time when a picture was worth a thousand words. Independent reporter Dan Snyder recently paid a visit to the home of what he calls a new kind of entrepreneur. People have so many questions about what you've done. Could you give us the one-sentence version? I had dropped off my daughter in western Massachusetts. I'm driving through a toll booth. I hand the guy $3, and I said to him, i got to get one of these. This was on a, on a Sunday. That Thursday, I completed construction on my own toll booth. I see. This seems to me like the most simple way to make money in the world. You construct something, people drive through it. In order to do that, they have to pay you. Now, have you made any improvements to the area? You know, because people are paying uh, money, you know, for this service. When you build something this simple, that's not really the point. You know, that the point is, (sighs) well, I'm trying to streamline the service. I see. On a weekday, you might see 10 or 15 cars passing down this block. All of whom have to pass through your toll. That's correct. You know, everybody, as long as I've been here, been taking that passage for granted. I see. Well, in exchange for the money... Uh, that they're paying. Are there any advantages? Uh, the first one that comes to mind is safety in the in the event of any kind of uh, national emergency. Uh, wh- what um, would be an example of? Um, well, say there's a there's a, um, a a preemptive attack. Okay. Let's say that happened. Yeah. So here I am in a unique position to provide. You know, uh, at some point um, I might be. Pu- I I. I, I guess the short answer to your question is there's not, no real advantage yet. And has it been successful? Have you actually made money? I'm anticipating that day. Mm-hmm. I am a staunch believer in the notion of privatizing. Oh. Anything that's done by the government could be handed over to the private sector and done better. What are the advantages, in your case, of privatizing? Cutting through bureaucracy mm-hmm. and cutting through red tape and, re- and regulations. And So you don't have uh, red tape and regulations? No. It, you have eliminated a bureaucracy in your... Yeah, I have eliminated a, a need for a bu- bureaucracy. This is You have no employees? My definition of an employee might be different than yours, but I have a couple of mid, mid-level... Well, they're administrative positions. They're functionaries. Yeah, they're functionaries, and I I need somebody to keep an eye on this because it's going to spin. Otherwise, it'll spin out of control. Yeah. So you're building a bit of a. uh, It's a small bureaucracy, really. I see. Is what it is. Let me pose the question point blank to you, right? Directly, is what you're doing legal? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to cut this short because school lets out in, in five minutes, and I should be in the booth. Oh. I think the kids understand this. So you actually have the children pay tolls. Well, you can't play... uh, Playing favorites is the enemy of the toll booth. You know what? I hope he does well. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can just click on subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe to this channel, click on something else. Today we heard the voice of Tom Snyder. It was originally edited by Tom Snyder, animation by Lindy Bazil, produced by Katie Cupp, Music for today's show featured Ross Levinson on violin, T-Bone Woke on, gu- on bass guitar, Steve Loeb on piano, music and lyrics by Jonathan Katz, produced by Albion Productions. I'm Jonathan Katz. Thank you so much for watching.